What's up YouTube, my name is Kenneth. Today is the second video on the 17 by 17. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys a bunch of patterns and show you what it looks like on a 17 by 17. So anyway, let's get started. So here's what a checkerboard pattern looks like on the 17 by 17. It's pretty cool. It's probably the easiest pattern to make on a 17 by 17. Um, so yeah. So let's move on to a tougher pattern. Let's try the uh, flower pattern. Okay, so here's the flower pattern. Looks pretty nice. So now I'm gonna attempt a really hard one. I'm gonna try to do the super flip. Hopefully um, I don't screw up because I really wanna show you guys the super flip. All right, here we go. So here is the super flip. This one's a really cool pattern. I think it looks really nice, especially on the 17 by 17. Okay, time to do the new pattern. This one is the spiral pattern by David Gilday. And uh, no one has ever seen this one, I'm pretty sure. So I can't wait to debut it, I guess, on this beast. So hopefully I don't screw it up. Time to go. Here's the spiral pattern. It looks awesome. You can see the spirals here on the red, blue, and yellow side, but I didn't do it on the green, orange, and white side because it'd probably take me twice as long to do it. I uh, only did it on these sides, but I really gotta thank David who uh, showed me how to make this pattern. And if you guys don't know him, he's the guy who has the channel I Assemble and he's made the Cube Stormer Lego robot. So that's how you guys might know him. But anyway, I think it's an awesome pattern and it looks great on the 17 by 17. All right, it's time to do the cube and a cube on the 17 by 17. I believe this will be the first time it's ever done on such a big puzzle, and I'm really excited to give it a try. I hope I succeed, and if I don't, well, that's too bad. I'll have a scrambled cube. So uh, yeah, let's give it a try. So while I was trying to make the cube and a cube pattern, um, I actually kind of screwed up right about here. Right there, yeah, that I made a four layer cut, but I should have made a five layer cut. And uh, when I finally noticed it, I tried to back out and get back to that same spot and I actually made another mistake right here. <laughs> and um, So now I've made two or three mistakes. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it made it so instead of taking like 30 minutes to make a cube and a cube 17 layers, uh, I ended up having to first try to solve it into as far as I could, try to figure out how many pieces were broken and finally I kind of gave up and I pulled the memory card out of the camera and looked exactly at the mistakes I made and I made three mistakes. So then I went out back and tried to solve it like a three by three to put me back into that position where I made the mistakes and undo each one of those mistakes. And then uh, finally I could solve it like a three by three back into kind of a, where I was uh, at in the cube and a cube, uh, making the cube and a cube. So right here. But uh, little did I know, I didn't actually put that right, so the layers weren't lining up how I wanted them to. And so I had to uh, back out again and, and back up and then um, solve it like a three by three again, except this time I had to switch where the centers were so that the layers would line up how I wanted them to. Anyway, it should have taken 30 minutes. <laughs> it took a lot longer. The cube and a cube, 17 layers deep. It's done, I'm so happy with how it turned out. It took so long, I kept screwing up, but uh, I stuck with it, I fixed the problems that I had, and moved forward, and it took a long time, um, but I finally got it done. I'm really happy that I uh, went all the way through and did it. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to, and you guys really encouraged me on Facebook to just go for it. Um, so anyway, I'm happy that I did, happy that I was able to fix the mistakes I made, and uh, I think it looks great. So let me know what your favorite um, 
pattern was that I did. And uh, yeah, so I want to thank Aaron McDonald for letting me borrow his 17 by 17. Without this puzzle, I wouldn't be able to uh, make these videos. So thanks to Aaron. Check out him and also David in the description below. And that's it. Thanks guys for watching. I do come out with videos at least every other weekend. So stay tuned for the next video. Thanks for watching. And of course, have a great day.